no matter who you are, no matter the position you attain, no matter how big you are, no matter how popular you are, no matter how important you think you are, you are a failure if you fail at home. Your success is useless if you are a dropout at home. This is why one has to pray carefully before making marital choices. Other choices can be changed at will. You can decide, I don't want to be a medical doctor anymore. I want to become a poultry farmer. It's a decision. You can decide to change your profession. You can decide to change anything you are doing. But this marital choice is very, very important. It's not something you just change anyhow. I want you to understand also that people change. The fact that somebody can preach very well at the pulpit is not a criteria for marriage, not a criteria for a choice. Anointing is not a criteria for marriage. The fact that somebody is anointed does not mean that they can make a good husband or they can make a good wife. You don't marry the anointing, you marry the man, you marry the woman. You don't go to a wedding ceremony and they say, today we are joining anointing with this brother, we are joining anointing with that sister. No, it's a man you are going to marry. Somebody looking gentle is not criteria because there is something called untested gentility. Some are only gentle because you didn't look for their problem. When you look for their trouble, you know that you have acquired a bulldog. Singing is not a criteria because if you are not careful and you did not pray very well, the person you think is a singer may become a stinger later. We should also understand that marriage was not created by the devil, it was created by God also realize that marriage is like a shoe not every shoe will fit your leg if the shoe is too big you will be inconvenienced if the shoe is too tight you will be inconvenienced your shoe can be your size which is good your shoe can be oversized you can marry an oversized wife oversized husband your shoe can be undersized you can marry an undersized woman Undersized man. What some people are demonstrating today will not show because it has not reached elastic limit yet. Some, when they come under pressure, then you know the kind of person that you really marry. Number four zombie way to choose, and I want you to listen well, is to choose with the hope of converting the person. You cannot change anybody. Only God can change a person. And I said, Daddy, mommy, I know that he's an unbeliever. You see? I know that he smokes hemp. I know that occasionally he takes cocaine. But God wants to use me to convert him, to convert her. It's a lie. Let him go and get converted somewhere else first. And be moving in Christ. Then you can go and marry. In those days, foolish sisters, they will coach unbelievers. Somebody who's not born again, who's not the child of God, they will say he's born again. And they will coach the person. Say, you see, you are going to face the marriage committee. When you face marriage committee, they are going to ask you questions. Let, let us practice it now. You know he's an unbeliever. He's smoking. He's drinking. He's losing his temper. He has slapped you once. So when you get there, they will say, are you born again? You say, yes, by the grace of God. Have you received the baptism? Don't you say, yes, sir, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Do you want me to show you? If they say show, say blah 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 just say something like that. Do you have a household? Yes, number two, so so and so street. Do you so you have coached him to pass through the marriage committee? I've seen many men who were coached like that, who eventually became a killer to the woman. Many who claim to want to convert people, they never convert them. Eventually, they end up in trouble.
don't try to convert to marriage angry people when you are not married to somebody is losing his temper and is uh, is slapping and beating you and insulting your parents don't go there don't marry somebody who is a drunkard no 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 don't marry somebody who is a drunkard is a drug addict don't even move close to anybody who is a drug addict don't marry unbelievers don't marry court members don't marry sinners don't marry those who are very violent it's already a violent person it's a no-go area don't marry a sex addict saying that when we get it's because he's not married yet that's why he's doing random sampling all over the place uh, once i'm married to him now i will calm him down really you discover that you cannot calm him down don't marry those who are criminally minded uh, yes uh, i know that she has been jailed before but you see uh, god can change anybody i agree but don't marry a criminally minded person don't marry somebody who is a night clubber a party freak party lover don't choose a partner from a party they don't change after wedding if they are not changed now you will not be able to change them after the wedding don't marry those who always criticize churches this church is bad that church is bad this pastor is bad this pastor is bad that is bad that is bad that is bad the bottom line really which some people don't understand uh, nobody has the right to be saying one person is bad one person is bad if it's god has called him leave his god to deal with him it's not your business if you put your mouth and god comes in you may discover that it is very dangerous to say you want to fight for god so don't engage in marriage by conversion marriage by conversion will always lead you to marry unbelievers don't marry anyone with the aim of converting or changing the person the voice that says let there be light the voice that spoke unto Lazarus to comfort right there where you are that voice shall speak light unto all your darkness in the name of Jesus